Hello, my name is Andy Slania, a customer success manager at Proudly. In this video, I'll walk you through how to deploy a specific product bundle from a sandbox into your production org using Proudly App Ops release. If you have gone live with your Salesforce CPQ implementation, you may need to update specific product bundles with new configuration attributes, features, or options. The best practice for this use case is to update the reference data records in a sandbox, perform testing to ensure the bundle works as expected, then deploy the reference data changes into your production org. For this walkthrough, we will be creating a data set with product as the root object. If you have not installed a product data set or are unsure of changes or customizations made to your own template, download the latest version of the product data set from the Proudly community at success.proudly.co and import into your control org. After accessing the product data set, clone the data set and update the name based on our use case. To view the relationships in this data set, click the display as icon and select the diagram view. Let's say that you have made updates to the options associated with product A. For option A, we can see that product A is the configured SKU and product B is the optional SKU. If product B has its own options where it's a configured SKU and lists other products as optional, those optional products will also be deployed. If you do not want that to happen, then you will need to make some modifications. This is one of many examples where a circular relationship may bring in reference data from outside the parent bundle. Following the suggested modifications in this video will prevent the deployment of many other unintended relationships for this bundle as well. Let's make our first modification by double-clicking on Product Option. Navigate to the Parent Relationships tab. We can see that the optional SKU relationship is selected. The reason why it's selected is to ensure that the product listed as the optional SKU is deployed before deploying the option record. To ensure that we are only deploying the optional SKU and no other records associated with it, such as options and features for the optional SKU, click on Properties for the relationship, then click Skip Relationship Processing. When this is selected, you will deploy the optional SKU before this product option record, but AppOps release will not go further to deploy other reference data associated with this optional SKU. Click Close, followed by Save, to ensure your changes are saved. Navigate back to the Diagram view by clicking the Display As icon, followed by Diagram. Hover over the root object in your dataset to identify if there are any other relationships where this same change may need to be made. After all changes have been made to your product bundle dataset, navigate back to the root element in the dataset and click on Record Selection Criteria. Specify a query filter in conjunction with the product bundle to be deployed. Next, click Deploy. Specify your source org followed by your destination org. Click Deploy again, and AppOps release will start the deployment. To summarize, we have installed the CPQ template from Proudly, cloned the product dataset, then made modifications to deploy only specific product bundles. If you have any questions about the content seen in this video, feel free to reach out to us at any time by visiting proudly.co or within our community at success.proudly.co. Thanks for taking time to learn more about Proudly and the AppOps platform.